Welcome to PointYC's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we show you how to pass arguments when running a glyph script in batch mode. The first thing you need to know in order to follow this exercise is how to run PointWise in batch mode depending on the platform that you're currently using. If you're not sure how to do that, here's how you can find out. Go to the Help menu. From there, go to the Glyph Reference menu. And that is going to open a PDF file with the PointWise Glyph Reference menu. Scroll the first few pages, and once you actually get here, go to the Introduction Overview. Right here, we show you how you can actually run PointWise in batch mode for all the platforms that we support. In my particular case, I'm going to be following the instructions on this first point as I'm going to be using a Windows system. So what I want to show you in this short video is how you can actually do something like this. Follow the instructions, I'm going to run PointWise in batch mode, invoking the tickle shell. Then I have a path to a script. I have a script itself that is called pass arguments on run. And right after that, I have three very generic arguments, arg1, arg2, and arg3. The idea is that if I actually execute this command as is, it's going to run pointwise in batch mode, and those three arguments are going to be recognized inside the script. Once the arguments that you pass are inside the script, of course, you can use them for different things. So go ahead and execute that. And as you can see, my little script is actually recognizing those arguments that you passed. There's one particular tickle variable called argc that contains the number of arguments that you passed. In this case, the number is three. There's another very important tickle variable called argv that contains those arguments that you passed. And in my script right here, I have extra code that is going to separate all those arguments that you pass and print them out individually. So now that you know what this script does, let's take a look at this very short script. I have in here a couple of lines that are going to print out the content of the argc tickle variable that contains how many arguments you pass. It's also going to print out the content of the argv variable that contains the arguments themselves. And right here, I have that small piece of code that is going to take all the contents of the argv variable and print them out individually. And that is how you can actually pass arguments when running a glyph script. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.